When you think of telescopes, you most likely imagine long-standing tubes with pointed ends. Through these tubes, you imagine that you'll be able to see the wonders of the universe. For the most part, you're not wrong. However, that's not all there is about telescopes. There are also ELTs. These are extremely large telescopes that are as big as an entire building. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be talking about one of these ELTs, the insanely huge telescope called the Giant Magellan Telescope. So, let's dive in. The Giant Magellan Telescope is an extremely large land-based telescope that has been under construction since 2015. When completed, the telescope will be the seventh largest telescope on the planet. The telescope will consist of seven 27 diameter primary segments that will be able to observe near infrared and optical light. These segments will have a resolving power of an 80.4 feet primary mirror and a collecting area equivalent to 72.2 feet 1. This means that the telescope is expected to have a resolving power that is at least 10 times greater than that of the Hubble telescope. The Location You may think, well, telescopes can be located anywhere with a clear view of the sky, but it's way more complicated than that. For a telescope, especially an extremely large one, to have a good view of the sky, it needs to be placed at an altitude of about 2,000 meters above sea level. This would place the telescope above a significant fraction of the Earth's atmosphere. It would reduce the atmosphere's thickness that the telescope observes the night sky through, thereby producing cleaner images. Importantly, the telescope must be built in the proverbial middle of nowhere. The reason for this is simple. The farther an area is from cities and urban areas, the freer it is from light pollution. That's probably why the Giant Magellan Telescope is located in the Las Capanas Observatory, an astronomical observatory owned and operated by the Carnegie Institution for Science. The observatory is in the southern Atacama Desert of Chile, in the Atacama region, approximately 100 kilometers northeast of the city of La Sonera. Since the observatory is so far from everywhere else, the night sky that surrounds the Atacama Desert is free from atmospheric pollutions and light pollution. That's probably why it's one of the best spots on Earth for a long-term astronomical observation. The observatory is also home to several telescopes, and some of them include the Magellan Telescope and the Dew Point Telescope. How will the telescope work? Most telescopes work in the same basic manner. They use a combination of light, mirrors and curved lenses to focus light and take really large snapshots of the sky. And that's the same with the giant Magellan Telescope. The telescope will use seven of the world's largest mirrors as primary mirror segments. Each of those mirrors will be 27 feet in diameter and will then be arranged with one mirror in the centre, and the other six arranged symmetrically around it. The mirrors will then be integrated into a single light-collecting surface that will be about 80 feet across. That's about three times wider than any optical telescope in operation today. The telescope will also have seven adaptive secondary mirrors, each of which will be 3.3 feet wide and just 2 millimeters thick, with hundreds of actuators affixed to its back. The actuators will allow the telescope user to bend the thin glass surface around a thousand times every second. This allows for the telescope to accurately compensate for the distortion that's introduced by the Earth's atmosphere. Each millisecond, the distortion is measured and each millisecond, the actuators measure the distortion and manage to correct it. That way, the people handling the telescope can remove the Earth's atmosphere from the telescope's view and allow it to capture sharp images. These extreme optics will allow the Giant Magellan Telescope to see just as far as the famous Hubble Telescope. All these may sound like a walk in the park, but it's not. First off, no other single-piece telescope mirror is larger than a Giant Magellan primary segment, and the surface of all seven Giant Magellan telescopes must be shaped almost to perfection. It only has a margin of error of about 25 nanometers. 
That is about a millionth of an inch and the width of a single glass molecule. Importantly, the screen segments must be phased together to ensure that they align precisely and work as a single piece of hardware. The mirrors will be constructed at the University of Arizona's Steward Observatory Richard C. Karras Mirror Lab. It can take up to six and a half years for one mirror to get ready. For example, the first mirror was cast in 2005 and was completed in the same year. However, six years later, the grinding and polishing of the mirror were still going on. The mirror's casting takes about 13 weeks, and after being cast, the mirror will have to cool down for about six months. Yeah, that's not your regular mirror. This is some high-grade, insane-level stuff. That's probably one of the reasons why scientists expect the giant Magellan would provide very high-quality images. Another reason is that the giant Magellan is expected to have very large aperture and advanced adaptive optics. They expect that the image resolution from the giant Magellan will exceed that of the Hubble telescope. Which is kind of a big deal. Well, the Hubble telescope is pretty huge, and it's actually in space. That's like saying a telescope in Iran can see more things happening in the White House than a telescope in New York. Exactly. What is the status of the mirrors? If the mirrors are so difficult to make, when will the telescope be operational? First off, the telescope doesn't have to have its eight mirrors ready before it becomes operational. It can become operational with only four mirrors, and that seems to be the plan here. When the first four mirrors are ready, they will be put together in the telescope and it will become operational. But back to the mirrors and their production statuses. There will be a total of eight primary mirror segments, one central mirror, six off-axis segments, and a spare off-axis segment, which will be rotated into use as each segment is cleaned and relocated. Aside these, there will also be an adaptive secondary mirror that will be designed for the telescope. The first mirror, which was cast in October 2005, was completed in August 2012. The polishing completed it with a surface accuracy of about 19 nanometers. The second mirror was cast in 2012 and was completed in 2019. The third mirror was called in August 2013, but is still undergoing fine grinding of its front surface. The fourth mirror was cast in 2015 and is currently undergoing rear surface polishing. It's also having a load of spreaders installed. Mirror 5 was cast in 2017, and Mirror 6 is still in early construction phase. There are plans to cast the mirror in 2020. Mirror 7 is planned to be cast in 2021. There are no plans to cast Mirror 8 yet. What this means is that it will take at least 9 years for the giant Magellan telescope to be fully operational. Most people agree that the telescope will not have its eight mirrors completed anytime soon. However, it could start operations once work is finished on mirror four. So what will it be used for? Simple telescopes like the one you buy at Walmart for about $200 are used to just stare and wonder at the magic of the night sky. But the giant Magellan is a bit more complicated and a bit larger than a simple telescope. So it's important to ask the salient question, what exactly will this telescope be used for? It seems that a lot of people have gone through a lot of trouble to have it made. We mean, it takes around six years to make one mirror. Surely this telescope must be used for something more than taking cool pictures of the sky. Well, astronomers plan to use the telescope for hunting for signs of life in the atmospheres of nearby exoplanets. It will also be used to probe the nature of dark energy and dark matter. There are still many things we don't know about these energy forms, although they dominate the universe but remain largely mysterious. Who's spending all the money? If all these sound extremely expensive, it's because they are. Who's footing the bill for this giant telescope? Well, not one person is footing the bill. The project gets grants from different organizations, with the most recent grants from the National Science Foundation. The Giant Magellan Telescope project received about $17.5 million in grant money from the organization in 2020. 
This grant money will accelerate the prototyping and testing of powerful optical and infrared technology that the Giant Magellan will use. The grant will allow the Giant Magellan Telescope Organization to build two phasing test beds that will allow engineers to demonstrate in a controlled laboratory setting that its core design will work to align and phase the telescope's seven mirror segments with the required precision to achieve diffraction and limited imaging. What do you think? Do you think the Magellan will be able to achieve what it's designed to achieve? Or will it be just another white elephant project? Don't be shy, let us know in the comments. That's it guys, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button. If you don't, we'll hire a giant telescope, find you, kidnap you, and force you to not only smash the like and subscribe button, but also turn on our notifications as well. That's a promise, not a threat. Goodbye, and remember to stay safe.